It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. Lady Gaga is stunning audiences once again. They had it all. Wealth, style, power. Who wouldn't care for that? In the highly anticipated House of Gucci, starring as Patrizia Reggiani. I don't consider myself to be a particularly ethical person, but I am fair. The then heiress to the fashion empire. Well, at least it's my name on the mugs, not yours. Our name, sweetie. The movie's not even out yet, but you're getting Best Actress Oscar buzz. So how does that feel? It's wonderful to be in the Oscars conversation. And also, by nature, I'm more competitive with myself than I am with other people. But I feel really blessed and very honored to be in this movie. The electric love story between Maurizio Gucci and Patrizia quickly turned into a tale of jealousy, revenge, and even murder. When she married Maurizio, he didn't have money and he didn't have a job. And when she put the hit out on Maurizio, they were divorced. So there was a lot that was in the media that was sensationalized about how she was this gold digger and about how she killed for greed and money. I believe it was love and I believe it was survival. And I think that women uh, are often mischaracterized uh, as uh, being strategic and having an agenda. When I, I looked at her and I watched all her interviews and I thought, this woman has been trying to survive her whole life. I saw what you said, this is not an imitation, it's a becoming. Yeah. So how did you become her? I spent six months working on her accent and I then filmed the movie, which was three and a half months. So I was in accent for a really long time. Father, son, and the house of Gucci. I spent a lot of time talking this way, just as Stephanie, myself. That's my weird name, my Italian name, Stefania. Then I did all the research on who she was as a person, but I didn't want to meet her because I could tell very quickly that this woman wanted to be glorified for this murder, and she wanted to be remembered as this criminal. So you've never met her? No, I didn't want to collude with something that I don't believe in. You know, she did have her husband murdered. This proud Italian-American hopes her role makes her family and Italians proud. It's time to take out the trash. I was just in Milan the other day doing a television show, and I had the most wonderful time with Fabio, who did my interview. And when he told me that he was so impressed with my accent and that Italian people were impressed with my accent, I. I couldn't think of a higher honor. But it will be up to the Academy as to whether Gaga reigns supreme, hoping for a Best Actress nomination and win this time around. Along with the star-studded cast of Jeremy Irons, Al Pacino, Adam Driver, Jared Leto, and Salma Hayek, what was the chemistry like on set? It was amazing. I loved working with everybody, and they really were empowering. I mean, on set there was a lot of men every day, mm -hmm. and they were men that empowered a woman as well. And I think that like not enough people are given credit for that. It was 2019 that Gaga took home an Academy Award for Best Original Song for her duet hit Shallow with Bradley Cooper. But no win for the remake of A Star Is Born. Lady Gaga is an unstoppable force and has had quite a year Please welcome Lady Gaga. Starting with her performing at President Biden's inauguration. Can you see? That was a real honor. And I have a lot of complicated feelings about this country. I think the whole country felt complicated. So we did a complicated rendition to make space for everybody. Because ultimately, we still have to figure out how to do this together. Is it true that you wore a bulletproof dress? Yeah. In some ways, it was the safest place in the world, and in other ways, it seemed like the most dangerous. I was in the middle of probably six or seven living presidents. I just wanted to be prepared. You released your sixth studio album, Chromatica, last year, but you said that you wrote it while you were going through a very hard time physically and emotionally. When I made it, I was like pushing myself to write music because I was really sad. I didn't even want to create. And I think that that, as a performer, is a real signal that something's off. So Chromatica, for me, was a way that I danced through all my pain. And I know um, 
you had the, the, the incident with your dog. We are back with the investigation into the shooting of Lady Gaga's dog walker. The suspects also stole two of Gaga's French bulldogs. I'm just curious, coming through that, did that change the way that you look at life? Moments like that, they remind you that you're human, and they remind you that the world is very flawed. In addition to being so grateful that my dogs are alive, I am so grateful that my friend Ryan Fisher is alive. The fact that he was shot was so outrageous and painful, and I pray for his healing all the time. And it also reminds me that in a lot of ways, I have it really, really good. And I need to stay grounded in that gratitude. But before we ended, a little lightning round. What's your biggest strength? I think my heart. What's the best thing that's happened to you this year? Love. I love love. I love love too. You're smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I think relationships are really important. Realness is one of the best things that happened to me this year. You gotta find the one you can just be who you are. And for what's next on our bucket list? Well, what's left? But change the world, of course. I'd like to spend the next decades of my life learning how to mobilize myself and the, those who are watching to build a kinder and braver world. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.